Hi, I'm Radium, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the most unexpected collaborations in existence. I'm just kidding. We're talking about Sandblocks. Obviously, this has definitely been one of those games where some people have been absolutely confused from seeing at first glance when I showed off the list of games that are currently available on Sandbox at the moment. But this game is just absolutely hilarious to me because it is a Roblox base game within Sandbox. So there's a little bit of game deception that's happening within there. But it's very interesting because it just looks exactly how you would see it within Roblox itself. So uh, it has pretty much everything. We have a chat box that's up here, which if I try to go and press slash help, it doesn't work. I don't know why, but apparently there's only so much that this game mode has went that far from. So that's what we could kind of get from that. And that's all right. I thought there would have been a little bit more there, but that's OK. Uh, there is a players list alongside with a kills score and sandbox score, which is absolutely hilarious to me. I absolutely love that so much. You have this three dot sort of icon over here you can click, which is to show and hide the players list and also your health bar right next to it as well, too. And we have at the bottom your utility bar, which shows pretty much everything, your fist, your flashlight, pistol and the number one best sort of weapon by far within Sandbox itself is the Sandbox shooter. Like, come on, look at that free Sandbox. That's right. You get some Sandbox. You get everyone can get some Sandbox if they want to. This is absolutely hilarious because I really thought that the most I could actually shoot was maybe like two or three. But no, it just goes on forever. You could just shoot until you cr you crash the game or something. So that's that's great. Yeah, you can even go and zoom in and out. And this is the farthest camera zoom out I've ever seen. This is almost World of Warcraft MMO level style zoom out. This is ridiculous <laughs> almost, but it's very interesting because it obviously presents the same sort of concept that is within Roblox. Now, I think what's really going to be interesting about this specific type of uh, game mode is for one, the idea that is, well, it's a Roblox game mode. I'm assuming you, you were able to properly build on top of the code that is here, assuming for the most part, so that you can maybe make some other game modes within uh, this sandbox sort of game mode itself and do a lot of other different things, you know, on different maps and whatnot. I do have to say one thing that does suck is that even though there is voice chat, which is V, um, it doesn't kind of show up anywhere here. And I'm pretty sure it's not even on at the moment. But usually there would be a microphone that would show up either in one of the corners that you would see when you press it and you speak. So it knows that, you know, you're actually speaking within the mic and it's picking it up. I just think that this is absolutely awesome. It's a little weird to see because I think I've only played Roblox one or two times. And I think for a lot of people that really have been hardcore dedicated Roblox fans are probably going to really like this sort of game mode and might want to play this game mode quite a bit because it's really interesting. Now, I think what's also cool is the idea of the player models themselves. Um, one, they're just the Terry's. I have seen actual community made models where people have obviously ported Roblox characters within the game itself. So I don't know if that's actually going to be a possibility because, of course, you could change your player models depending on which game mode you're playing. So I don't know if you're going to be able to use the Terry's as a player model or the Roblox character as a player model or some other sort of, I don't character that is supported within this game mode. But either way, I don't really think there's much else we can actually talk about because that's all there really is. <laughs> it's just a UI, the, the camera and the setting and the most amazing sort of gun you could ever have, which is just the sandbox shooter. Just absolutely wonderful. I love this thing. Just infinite money all the time. Just shoot it everywhere. Also, it's breaking the camera, but <laughs> that's all we really have for now. So yeah. So if you enjoyed this video a lot, you'll definitely enjoy this video that's up on the screen right now where I talk a bit more about Sandbox's biggest elephant within the room. And you should definitely watch it because it's totally worth it, of course. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you then next time.